everybody, this is Jennifer from Gentle Soaps and I just got my biggest purchase yet for my soap business in the mail today. Um, my single cutter, as you know, is a bud cutter, um, but I couldn't find one uh, domestically that I could afford, but I did find one that I could afford from Russia and the shipping was so fast and I haven't opened it yet, but I've had a few big sale, a wholesale order, so I'm hoping it was a good investment. Now, before I show you my new cutter, or we unbox it, I haven't even opened it yet. I want to ask you guys how you'd feel about helping me to name it. Because it is such a big purchase and a big part of my company growing, I kind of want it to have a name. Like, Katie has Evangeline. I don't know if it should be a man or a woman's name. Or when it, like, I was thinking um, Victoria because I wasn't, that was one of the names I was going to name one of my girls uh, when I had, when I was little. Victoria was always my favorite name. And then I ended up moving to Victoria, which seemed a little weird. So I never named any of my children Victoria. Um, so I don't know. Should I name it Victoria? Um, introduce it, then you know where I'm from all the time. I don't know. So I'd like you to suggest names in the... Um, the description box, the comments box, and let me know if you think I should name this particular piece of equipment. I really want to because I think it's super awesome. Um, it's almost like they're a partner in my 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 labor of love. All right, so let's look down here. Got my bennet, and let's see if it's worth naming. See if it's good enough to name. I um. Cost me my whole income. <laughs> I got it on Etsy. And I've really been happy with everything I've gotten from Russia. I got an electric spinning wheel if you want to see that. I think it's here on my on my um, on my on my channel. Okay. Huh. So it's a little different. Then the ones I've seen, but it kind of looks like a piano. This is my big grand soap cutter. Okay, let's let's flip it down a little bit more so you can see it out of the box. So this can cut a lot of soap, and it looks like these are made out of wood. So I don't know how washable and durable it's going to be, but this is metal, and this is metal. I really wish this was plastic. It looks like, maybe it is plastic. I hope it's plastic. I hope it's not wood. Is it plastic? It looks like painted wood. We will see how this one wears. I was just, I've seen the handles break, and I didn't want to take a chance of having broken handles. And if these wear out, maybe my husband can help replace them. I don't know. We'll see. I was really hoping those were plastic. But I should have asked more questions. I hope this is going to be tall enough for me to do, like, my high tops. I gave him my specifications. We will see. There aren't any extra strings, but... They're nice one inch bars. I think they might be one and a little bit. So they're a little wider than I normally cut. But I've noticed that some of my smaller bars just aren't as big as I'd like them to be. And I, I'm so tempted to just turn them into high tops after the fact. But uh, so we'll see if this cuts down on some of my labor for my wholesale orders. Or maybe I'll start having retail orders that I just can't keep up with. <laughs> Someday, maybe. That's the dream, right? All right, so Soap Cutter Pro. All right, that's what I got. Can you think of a name? I don't think it's a Victoria. I would really like some votes on names. Whoever, uh, who's ever name I choose, I will send them a soap card. So that'd be a full size goodie. But then my, my soap cards are pretty darn big. So I don't know, I've, my husband made me one that was just made out of wood that you press down. Um, and I've got lots of strings that I can replace them with. How are they done? 
it's two to one. Okay, that'd be easy enough to replace. Yeah, it seems to be, it might need a little WD-40. It's a little hard to move it. We'll see. There's the big unveiling, the Soap Cutter Pro. All right. See you guys next time. Bye for now.